everyone and welcome again to another Pro 100 tutorial video. Uh, today I want to show you how you can create your own crown molding. Uh, crown molding are generally very very tiny uh, but they add a lot of uh, elegance in your design work. So the first thing you want to do is go to new element and as usual you always want to go to position zero 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 that's the left corner which also you can see right here and I'm going to make sure the dimensions are as small as the crown molding itself as far as the height so I'm gonna use 2.5 as the width and the height I'm gonna just use 3.5 and the thickness you want to go as low as possible and you will see why so apply and you see it's such a tiny thing uh, don't worry about it just go to the shape editor which is this one here now I docked mine here on top but you can always if you wanted uh, you know that's fine with you so I'm gonna go to shape editor and this is what I have so now we're gonna start making the shape um, depending on what profile you have I already have mine I, I got it online there's like a whole bunch of them but you can create your own um, if you just google crown molding profile you'll see like there's a whole bunch of things like this so this is what we're trying to draw in the crown molding and, and the shape editor so you can use any profile so now I'm gonna make uh, a notch here and I'll make it kind of like just eyeballing it for now you can be precise if you want to and then I'm gonna grab this section and pull it that side then I'm gonna grab this section make a notch and this notch is going to be moved somewhere there make another notch it's very easy to use the shape editor once you get to know the basics so uh, don't panic it's 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 very easy so I'm just making shapes here really uh, you always want to zoom in because you're dealing with such a small small uh, shape okay so I'm gonna go here and uh, make another notch just one more second here and just watch what I'm gonna be doing Just make your own shapes. Yeah. Doesn't matter how you want this. Okay, that's good enough. I'll make another notch here. Another notch, maybe. You will see all this coming up really good make another notch here and we're still making having a good time here another notch Z, I don't like that. There you go. That's what I was looking for. All right. And you will see all this profile once we be done. Make another act. Maybe that needs to be flat. So it's going to be sitting. Okay, so 
let's see what we have so far all right okay so I'm gonna close it it's very tiny like I say uh, but it's gonna work so we have that so the first thing I want to do is make sure that it, nothing is locked because I need to make a copy actually and then I'm gonna stretch this so let's remove the depth and you can see that's the first section that's the first section the crowd molding with the profile that I just made now I need to make the corners and that's the fun part that's uh, you're gonna find that feature in pro wanted version 6 you will not find that in the previous versions so what I want to do this is create a corner I'm gonna use a tool called lathe you can either go to tools click on lathe and dock it here on your uh, sidebar menu so I'm just gonna click on mine and you can see it here I want to go two steps have a corner and it has to be 90 degrees it's that simple uh, you create and you get something like this see that so now we will use this to join it oops sorry it's, it's kind of tiny but uh, good thing is once you create this you just put it in your catalog so you don't have to deal with it again now you can see I made a very nice corner right there and I can just group it now to make it one unit now I don't have to do the same thing on the other side I can just copy that and flip it uh, let me see oh okay so I'm just gonna rotate not flip there you go and you can see I just made a nice a nice nice crown molding using my own profile all right and so now the good thing is you want to lock this ends because you don't want to stretch them lock completely but this one here is the stretchable one so I'm gonna lock that leave the depth and the height uh, the reason being I can easily stretch that you know and put it on a, a cabinet so I'm gonna save this right click and you wanna add it to your catalog uh, you can create a folder with your name on it or your company name or you can just create a folder called crown molding uh, in this I'm just gonna uh, dump it right here and call it my crown and save it alright so next let's start a new project I'm gonna not gonna save anything and I will quickly start with a um, a ba uh, wall cabinet that way we can see how we're gonna do this so let's go to the uh, north wall and let's bring in our crown molding and have fun with it right all right so I'm gonna go to cabinets and I believe I just called it my crown here it is and you can see my crown molding so just rotate good thing once you create these things you just add in your catalog you don't have to create them again so now of course you just use your pro one technique to align it nicely all right uh, once you get to know how to do this it's 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 very simple all right and this is how you do your crown molding of course now you can extend this side using just you can just copy that you know the middle one and keep going if you need a uh, if you need say uh, uh, a different angle like a 135 or 45 angle instead of 90 you can copy this one here right and use the same lathe technique and make it change to your own angle that you like so maybe I want it to 135 it will create a 135 angle if you if you look at it alright if you have any questions pro100usa.com